And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your confidant, Cheap Ludes. Once again, please do not admit to any crimes and or misgivings in the comments. When I say that, I cannot A, forgive you, or B, I just don't want to know your secrets. It is Monday. Happy Monday. And unless you have like an actual job, then you probably despise Mondays with kind of the power that could drown out like a thousand suns, which I totally feel that I hate Mondays as well, just like Garfield. Shout out to Garfield. If you're watching this, Mr. Garfield, appreciate you. Don't like lasagna, though. I don't really know what his obsession with that is. It's a really overrated food, if I'm being honest. Anyways, I know a lot of people are probably expecting me to talk about the season one rewind. That's going to be in a different video. So hold on. Don't worry. It's coming out today. Obviously, I'm not going to talk about the season one rewind agenda in four days. Like I'm talking about it right now. But today we're going to talk about the super packs. Hooray, he said sarcastically. Now I expected the Super Packs fully to come on Tuesday. So I'm surprised to see them come on Monday, but they do have a history of dropping Season 1, Season 2, whatever, whatever, Super Packs on Monday as well. So it's not exactly the most surprising thing in the entire world. So also, I don't know if you guys realize this, but like they were a few minutes late today to drop any of this stuff because I was looking right at 10 and nothing had changed. And I was like, oh, we're not getting anything today. Not surprising. And then like I looked like 30 minutes later after just the longest domination game of my life to get Richard Hamilton and all of a sudden we had all this stuff so it's like <clears throat> I'm not really sure what's going on you can tell by my voice cracking that it is officially cold and flu season dog you already know what it is it means that uh, I'm gonna be sipping on this potion aka uh, effervescent cold tablets and liquid IV mm. delicious <laughs> it's gross we got the super packs. Um, they are guaranteed amethyst, so shout out to everyone who said that was going to be the case. I really did not think that was going to be the case. Being that we had all the uh, Evo Shades Up players, I figured that would be the baseline. But looks like you're guaranteed an amethyst, which will knock a lot of the prices down for a lot of the amethyst. Now, look, you shouldn't open these. Like, let's be 100% transparent here. Like, do not open these packs. They are wildly expensive. This is a box topper, by the way. Um, this is a guaranteed diamond or above, which is going to get some people interested in opening these packs. The thing I will say is the power creep is going to begin uh, very shortly, right? I'm not going to say that these cards will be unusable in two to three weeks, but they'll be outclassed literally by next week. That, that I will say. There's going to be certain guys that are still going to be obviously usable and solid, like Garnett and like... Dwayne Wade probably and MJ with the duo with Pippen and stuff but like for the most part no one's going to be running majority of these cards come three weeks from now and if they are they're going to be rarely used bench assets like let's be real here so if you're going to pick up anyone I would recommend just picking up some amethyst guys that maybe you've been interested in like Bruce Bowen really super cheap Danny Green still really good Tyson Chandler still solid like Ori is overrated, but still good. Marcus Smart's good still. Um, Sean Livingston's still the mash man, so you could definitely hold your offense down with Sean Livingston. Like, you know, guys like that are definitely worth picking up. Bull Bull's still pretty good and really easy to time jump shot. But for the most part, I would say there's no point to opening these um, from a variety of reasons. If you're looking to pick up any of the players in them, like I've already stated, the power creep is coming. Um, none of these guys will really even be top tier in probably two to three weeks. I'm dead serious. Outside of maybe a couple exceptions, like maybe Garnett, maybe Dwayne Wade, maybe Michael Jordan, right? Potentially Wilt, but I think we're going to get like a Kareem or a Hakeem or something around, along those lines, which will be a little bit better. So there's really no point from uh, upgrading your team perspective. And then from an MT perspective, I think there's still some MT to be made if you get lucky. But like, let's be real here. The pack still have sub 2% chance to get a pink diamond. Um, yeah, I mean, you might get lucky with the box topper, but even then, with the increased box topper ad or like odds, it still says sub 2%. So, like, if you're guaranteed for sure in one of these packs to get a diamond or above, and it's still telling you that there's sub 2% chance to get a pink diamond, that is not a good sign. Typically, you'll see these box toppers, and it'll be like a sub 2% chance, and then you'll look at the box topper one where you're, you know, guaranteed to have a much, much better shot at a pink diamond card, and it'll say it's at 2%, right? If it is telling you 2K smudges their odds in ways to make it look like you have a better chance to actually pull things at times. And the fact that they're still telling you, nah, you still have less than a 2% chance to tell you how bad the odds for pink diamonds truly are. 
So I would say the two reasons that people open packs besides straight up addiction in the middle, which honestly, I'm not going to, if you're addicted to open packs, I'm not dissuading you from opening super packs at this point. And not because I won't try, but because there's really nothing I can say to you that's going to dissuade you from opening these packs. But if you're in the other two categories, you open packs to get MT or you open packs to pull players and improve your team. I would say both of these null and void do not open them. That's just me. Um, I mean, if you want to go for it, I guess, like if you got the VC already, I just wouldn't go buy more VC for these super packs. Now, there is going to be an effect on the market in certain cards, specifically, obviously the Amethyst are all going to be dirt cheap here pretty shortly, especially around like, you know, five or 6 p.m. like central time, you know, so in about, <clears throat> I would say about six hours, about six hours from now, um, they'll all be super cheap because people are going to get off work and they're going to open these packs. They shouldn't, and I would hope that they watch this video first <laughs> so they don't. I mean, dude, look, I'm not even opening them. Like, I'm not even opening these packs. I mean, yes, partially it is due to financials. Like, <laughs> I do not have an extra 50 that I can swing to open these super packs that won't benefit me at all. But I'm just straight telling you don't open these. You know what I mean? All the amethysts are going to be cheap. Um, certain ones are probably going to be more expensive than other ones. Like, Marcus Smart will probably be staying around the 10k mark um so he's going to be one of the more expensive amethyst i mean dude was like 30k yesterday so you know it is what it is but sneakily all the diamonds should be a lot cheaper too um we're going to be seeing a lot of these guys dip in price especially like the cheaper diamonds like guys from like the shades of set like you know your jalen greens your karolinkos your richardson's your spreewells all those guys are going to be significantly cheaper now here's the one thing i will say is it's not really ideal to open packs at this time but people tend to panic when super packs come out and they'll start listing badged up shoot up like improved versions of cards for basically the base median price and at this stage i don't think it's going to be something that you're going to make mt on necessarily but you can pick up cards that are improved versions of guys you already have and love for you know prices that are really really cheap like that's something you can do for sure especially when it comes to like a kind of more hyped guy like a lot of people just sell off their players for nothing at this stage because a lot of people just buy tice dude and they don't care you know what i mean like they don't they don't care about making their mt back on a marcus smart they used for like six weeks like they, they don't care about that so they'll put him up for basically whatever he's going for in the market and just hope for the best now, additional Hoff badges are a little bit different for the most part, but you can get a lot of different cards with increased gold badge count at this stage because people panic sell all their stuff. Um, there's a lot of cards to look at here. I mean, like I said, Marcus, Mark, Kawhi, like they'll be the more expensive of the Amethyst. I mean, they're still going to be relatively cheap, but they'll be the more expensive ones. Um, but guys like Bruce Bowen, Danny Green, like... Uh, these guys are already dirt cheap, but like LaMarcus Aldridge, even guys to a certain extent like Bull Bull will be a lot cheaper today. And honestly, they can both hold it down and you can pick them up for basically a budget at this point. So it's it's worth looking at a lot of these guys, what I'm saying. When it comes to the top tier guys, I don't expect a whole lot of price drop. Like honestly, like you can see there's not a whole lot of pink diamonds being added. There are definitely some. Like, you can definitely see some. You want to look at... This packs came out about an hour and a half ago. So you're going to want to look from, like, 2.30 onwards, right? So about right here, this person put this card up because they knew the packs were here. All right, now we got one from packs. We got one from packs. Possibly one from packs, but I think someone's just panic selling that one. One from packs, right? So for Wilt, yeah, I mean, we're looking at, like couple wilts like there's like three wilts you know what i mean lillard there's four lillards total you know like diamond cards are going to be prevalent you're going to be able to get a lot of these guys for way cheaper than you know what we've already seen but for the most part i mean there's not very many steph curry's up uh i doubt there's even that many blakes or chris middleton's or anything like that up so I i'm just gonna say it don't open these packs especially if you're trying to pull things of a pink diamond nature because it's not going to be beneficial to you straight up <clears throat> like even guys like bosh who are still going to be very very good people are going to panic sell their pink diamonds but you're not about to pull any of these yes you're going to think like oh dude i'm going to be able to get michael jordan for like way cheaper 
And to a certain extent, you're right. Like, it'll be probably 100K cheaper than it was yesterday if you try to buy an MJ. But at the same time, it's not going to be as cheap as you're going to see. And there's going to be a lot of creators that are going to make videos like, you know, oh, new super packs are going to crash the market and, like, all this stuff. But they're not. Like, they're not. They never do. Like, the market never crashes off of these super packs. They don't crash off of vc super packs typically they crash after either a big event or a power creep that's typically when the market will straight up crash if 2k does an event where they're giving out like higher tier cards if there's a big power creep making some of these guys badge count wise kind of like not worthless but like worth a lot less than they were a couple days prior or something of that nature that's what causes the market crashes for the most part new season starting but typically it's not the vc only super pack so i would just say be cautious but if you want to pick up some budget guys that are going to definitely help your team out guys like bradley beal uh who you can get for like 20 something k at this point which is a pretty good steal uh luca's down really really cheap as well just guys like that that you have an interest in using now is probably the perfect time to do that uh victor oladipo is still really good by the way i just i just feel like people kind of sleep on him for no reason i'm not really sure why that is but he's still really solid so that's what i would use this opportunity for once again do not open the super packs like it's just not it's not worth it it's not you're going to be disappointed you're going to spend 50 to 100 dollars, if not more if you're spending more please don't do that and you're going to come away from this disappointed now you're also going to see a bunch of content creators on twitter not really showing their uh, pack losses as much as just all the pink diamonds that they're pulling at this point so you know just avoid the super packs at all cost also everyone's going to have galaxy opals um and when i say everyone i mean just like all the super sweats and content creators besides myself um are probably going to have the galaxy opals they're going to have ad they're going to have butler and stuff like that so you're already kind of at a disadvantage at this point so i would just pump the brakes and just kind of wait for what we're going to see friday also i would like to state here now i posted this on twitter um i tweeted about how we're for sure seeing opals and packs on friday and i've been getting a lot of negative responses nah nah season two is the season for 96 overall season three will be opals but not with 15 hoffs you guys misunderstood or misunderstand what 2k does on a very <laughs> every year basically they do this every year first off 2k has never been shy about straight jumping overalls like they've never been shy just ask the 98 overall Opals from the last two years. How many times have they headlined packs? Never. Never. Maybe once or twice. Like, if I were to go back and look, I could probably find one or two instances where a 98 Opal may have actually headlined a pack. But for the most part, their window is usually so small, if ever present at all. What 2K typically does, I think the last time 98s had like a good run was 2K20, where there was a little bit where 98s were out before like 99s but typically 2k will just jump the other thing is when 2k allows people to get a new gem tier via grind you can bet that if not that very next week within two weeks they are going to put that gem tier into packs now are they gonna have 15 hoff badges no they'll have 10 but they will they always do this they do this every year the minute we're able to get an opal through grind the very next set it, opal headlining the packs the very first time we're able to get a dark matter through grind or a 99 whatever the 99 may be very next set 99 overall okay whatever gem tier that may be dark matters for the last two years the minute we get an invincible grind the very next pack invincible the very second we get an end game grinder an end game lock in i should specify they're also lock ins majority of the time the very next set or the very next season sometimes a couple weeks go by they let it kind of marinate for a second we are able to get end games in packs 2k does not miss opportunities to aggressively monetize this game nobody and i mean this nobody is going to go open packs for a 96 pink diamond at this point now that people have opals that's a fact like yes yeah, certain players will be able to have that happen or have that effect but for the most part people are going to open packs for the shiny new gem tier and if you put opals in the market people will open packs 2k is going to be out here with a money counter dude just holding it down trust me just wait if it doesn't happen this friday it'll happen the friday after next i promise 